Hey, good evening, everyone. A voice past the queue. Thank all you guys for joining me. Listen, I just wanted to uh, take some time out right now. Uh, say Happy New Year. I'm not even sure I'm going to be up around 12 o'clock when the ball drop or when the time rolls over for the new year. But from myself, uh, from Word Movers, I just want to say thank you to all the guys who, uh, all the women and, and men who uh, served with me this year. Um, it truly was a blessing. Uh, 2020, I'm here. A lot of people say, you know, F2020 and 2021, uh, hurry up and get here. Um, but I truly thank God for 2020. I thank him for what we learned. I thank God for what he allowed to happen um, through a lot of the passing and, and the COVID, coronavirus, uh, passing of people. Uh, I think it did bring us together. Um, we, we sought God more in prayer because of everything that's taking place. So I just truly thank God uh, for being here. I thank God for the consistency uh, of all you guys. You know, we're praying four times a day. I thank God that a lot of you woke up and remembered to pray, reminded me to pray, and uh, was praying for me, praying for the ministry. So uh, I truly look for God to do more of the same next year. I didn't receive <clears throat> anything special from God, meaning that, you know, for, for, to, for New Year's, a lot of people say they receive a revelation, but um, the Bible tells me that God is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. I look to go into 2021 looking to be a better servant of God, not looking for any magic, uh, but just continue to looking for God to be who he is and just, just looking for God to continue to provide as he has provided uh, through this pandemic. Uh, God was faithful. Through a lot of bad things was happening, we did see the hand of God. A lot of people are being blessed right now with uh, the $600, regardless of what they say about it, who need it, who don't need it. Um, God is still providing. So there was a time when um, they were forced to make brick without straw and God still provided. God is still showing that he is still in control. So I thank God. I thank God, man, that more than anything, uh, I thank God that I'm still here. I thank God that you're still here. If you understand my voice, the greatest thing about uh, the new year is to say that we made it through 2020. We don't know what 2021 has to hold. Um, I'm not asking God about 2021. The Bible tells me to don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow to take care of things of itself. I'm only doing one day at a time. I'm not focused on next year. When tomorrow come, I'm going to do tomorrow. And if God allows me to see another day, I'll do that day. But going into the new year, looking for God to uh, do all these things and have my hopes up high, believing God is going to do something different than what he did last year or, or the year before. What I've known every new year is that um, God has been consistent every year God has provided for me. What I can tell you, if you haven't been on this path with God, is that he'll provide. And uh, all things work together for the good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. So, um Man, I, I love I love this platform. I love uh, everything that God has given me. I love all you people on here who have supported me and uh, you know been here for me. So listen, as we go into 2021, my thing is that we're still here. We've been through some things. We've had family members, we had friends, we had some people around us that have passed away. But um, you know the thing about it is that there's a reason that God has left you and I here and um, has allowed you and I to uh, still be here. So if you're here. That means he's not finished with you. He has a work for you to do. Um, he's not done with you yet. He has some things for you. And um, just, just continue to serve him, knowing that um, the the Bible teaches about his favor. You have his favor. Some people that we know have passed on from the coronavirus, and some people didn't make it to be able to see this day. But we're blessed to be able to see this day. So regardless of what your state is, you may not be able to get out and go to a New Year's Eve party, and you may can't turn up uh, like you want to. But, but the greatest turn up right now is just to still be here. There's a song they used to sing in church says, regardless of what, I'm still here. And we are still here. We we made it through 2020. We don't know what 2021 has to hold. But the thing is, though, we're going into a new year with the same old God. Uh, that's my slogan for 2021. New year, same old God. Same old God, new year. I'm taking the same old God into a new year. So I'm not worried about the new year. I'm not worried about what it holds. I'm not what it may hold. I'm not worried about my enemies. I'm not worried about any adversity. I'm not worried about anything because I know that I serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I know that whatever I may come to that God can bring me through. He's proven that this year. He's provided for some of you guys. Some of you haven't been working and God provided. The last stimulus check was given in March. Some of them been given out now in uh, December. That's nine months and God has provided nine months. And you're still in a place regardless if they're um, threatening to take it, threatening to put you out, threatening to cut things off. 
uh, you're still here. God has been faithful. So throughout all of this and everything that's taking place, we've seen the faithful hand of God in 2020. I'm looking for 20 in 2021 for God to do the same things. One thing that I was a little upset about about 2020 is that I felt like, and you should feel the same way, that a lot of people in my vicinity died, and I'm not sure if they knew Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. So I want to do a better job in 2021 of making sure that the people around me have salvation. Um, that's something because a lot of people died, and I'm not sure if they had salvation, but I, I pray that they did. But a lot of us need to uh, get more into ministry and get more into helping. I pray one of my prayer as well is that 2021 be also a year of forgiving, a year of uh, us coming together as a people, not just black people, but us just coming together, praying that, um, you know, it, it will be the year of the Lord. Um, we went into 2020 and we had our own plans just to see God say, hey, your thoughts are not my thoughts, your ways are not my ways, so as the heavens are high in the earth. So is my ways higher than yours. God says he know he know the plans that he has for us. He know the way that he take of us. And we thought 2020 was the year of double, thought it was the year of increasing. Everyone had prophesied to us and told us what 2020 was supposed to be. And 2020 didn't look nothing like the messages that were preached in the end of 2019. It looked like something totally different. Just to go to show you that um, God is in control at any given time. He can snatch the rug from under you and do what he wants to do. It's his will. Um, everything that happened in 2020, <clears throat> you must understand that God, Jesus, when he prayed, he says, Lord, not my will, let your will be done. 2020, regardless if you like it or not, was the will of God. And um, God had to do cer allow certain things to be able to get our attention. That was the will of God. You may be upset with what happened in 2020, but the way things are looking, 2021 may look, I have a lot of similarities as 2020, I want you to know that there's no magic in the changing of the day. There's no magic in the changing of the day at all. Um, when the year changes, and it's 2021, um, it's going to be a new year. It's going to be the same you. It's going to be the same God. It's a new year. Two things happen in a new year. Either things appreciate or depreciate. That's the only thing that changes. But it's going to be the same God. So listen. I didn't want to come on here with a lengthy message. I just wanted to come on here and say thank God for 2020. Um, I'm excited about 2021, whatever God is going to do, because I know he's going to do exceed the money of all we have to think. I thank God for the ministry. I thank God for the platform. I thank God for all you guys. And what you do have to celebrate is the fact that you're still here. God is still providing. He's not done with you yet. He's still making a way out of nowhere. So I want to pray for you. I want to pray for your family, members, friends, kids. Like I said, I'm not even sure if I'll be up tonight for the ball drop and all that. But I just want to uh, bless you guys and just, just thank you guys for being on this platform with me. Father, we just thank you right now. We thank you, Father God, for the opportunity to be on this platform. Thank you for all these great people praying for their family, members, their friends, their kids. Praying, oh, Father God, as you take them through this, this new year, oh, Father God, that they find some peace and they um, find a reason to be able to thank you, Father God. Thank you for the little things that you've done for us this year. Where you brought us, where you're taking us, oh, Father God. We've lost some, we've gained some. But, Father God, more importantly, we're holding on to your, um, your ever-changing hand, oh, Father. So, Lord, we just continue to thank you. We bless your holy name. Love you guys, man. Happy New Year to all you guys. Looking forward to seeing you in the new year.